years. Well, it's, everything changes. I'm, I've been almost 50 years on the road. The first 10 years, the second 10 years, the third 10 years, always uh, 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 things change, always uh, ways of doing things change. And so, so I, I, if I tell you about how I'm going to survive in Brazil, it won't, uh, uh, it won't uh, give you an impression of how I survived in the first 10 or 20 years of my, my journey. And it always depends on, on that particular time. Like in South America, I was, I was invited and handed around in German clubs. And uh, in, in Japan, I had tons of money because my brochures I sold and I had so much money and I was invited all the time. I, uh, you know, theoretically, you become fat yeah. in, in Japan. But you don't become fat in Japan because Japanese food is not fattening. <laughs> you can eat a lot before you get fat. So now in Brazil, I, you know, the food and meat is, I don't want to propagate the Brazilian meat here because the forest is disappearing because of it. But the meat is some of the best meat in the world and it's everywhere. And you can get uh, the, the certain styles that they prefer it. You know, you have rodizo, for example, which is, uh, which is all you can eat, freshly prepared meat on the grill, you know, an open fire there for five, six euro, you know. Mm -hmm. and so I, I'm, I'm much better off nowadays, you know. If I'm really in the bush, yes, you look at the map, yeah. you see what uh, distance you can expect where there is no provision. Accordingly, you pile up on food, you know. And then you can have, of course, food with, with this dried food, you know. I have, I used to have power drinks, you know, like, uh, you mix it, you have oats with you, you have uh, sugar, you have nuts, raisins, salt, milk powder. All of it, mixing it up in a bowl, add water to it, shake it in a big container, let it sit. It, you know, oats you need to cook, but you don't really need to cook oats, you know. And then you, you drink first a thick, um, liquid, which is really good, and then later you mix it with more water, and you have a thin drink. You know, you have a, and it, it's so good sometimes. You know, I'm making some good food, and other travelers, I they, I feel sorry for them <laughs> when they come with with a bloody spaghetti every evening. You know, they have no uh, no uh, uh, imagination no. of of how good. Uh, food can be even with limited. I mean, now you have to have some kind of better cooking equipment. We have one. Unfortunately, nowadays nothing good on the market anymore. You know, you want to f find a good cooking pot. I could show you my pot. It's it's a very old type, but that was ideal. You know, it has a you you can cook together three or four dishes. One at this, you know, the the rice was ready, the water was boiling. And the and the uh, the goulash or whatever you were making was also prepared on top, and so you have a really good thing, you know. But other people, you know, and sometimes I make for them. Uh, for example, this uh, oat drink I call it the the power drink. You know, I made it for some other people. How do you do that? You might say, like I don't know. You know, Horlicks is a, a an instant type of drink, like you can make from like Milo or something, yeah. and that tastes a little bit like it. It has this oat oat uh, taste and it's very very good. Huh? Mm -hmm. uh, I went with this Russian guy once you know he does he, he called it kasha you know and that was his secret they, he won the races he won races he was a you know I'm not a, a guy who, uh, who who thinks in competition I hate competition you know I want to do my my speed my route and but he was one of those that weren't going to win races and and he was working in a company of mine Russia was is, you know financially it was, so he could convince the, the director of the company that he was good enough to participate in a race. And so he won that race, you know. And it's the first time around, and he won it by much, you know. And then they asked him, what's your secret? What's your secret? And he said, I eat kasha. You know, that's the stuff, more or less the stuff that I produce myself, you know. That's interesting.